What is up everyone? Welcome back to Circuit in 5 and Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Eve at the time of this recording. I don't have any plans today or tonight or tomorrow. Hopefully you guys had a good Christmas. This won't be uploaded obviously on anywhere near Christmas. It probably won't be uploaded until probably January or February if I had to guess of 2023. So, yeah. But I am recording it on um, December 24th. And boy is it cold. Even here in Florida. Around this time, there's a blizzard going on in pretty much the whole United States. It's crazy. Anyway, we got Levi in the last episode. And I went ahead and trained um, Norma to an A in Potch Finder. We got Norma in the last episode. Uh, we're going to recruit more characters in this episode. Starting with a character... Well, well, we'll just recruit the character. Let's go back to Dorat Fortress though first. We unlocked this area in the last episode. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here. Dorite is perfectly secure. You can rest easy, Your Highness. Highness, thank you for coming to inspect Dorat. I'm not really inspecting it, but... If you missed any of the chests here, you can probably get them now, I guess. I don't know if they'll still be here. Your Highness, the Queen's your sister, and she's such a delicate, innocent, and corrupted flower. To take up arms against your own family, well... I've lost some respect for you, I must say, your highness. I'm so glad that Miyakis joined your, our side, and in more ways than one, he he. And at least we know that all the Queen's Knights haven't gone crazy. Man, these the people in this game are perverted. Like, <laughs> you got Kyle, you got Wilhelm, you got um. What's his face? Guvea. And then you got random NPCs that are perverted as well. Is it true that Zarase managed to harness the power of the Twilight Rune? Who the hell is that woman? My dad's a soldier, but he ran off with the Queen's Knights after the battle. Have you noticed that the corners of the fortress wall stick out, your highness? It's so that archers and rune soldiers can't implement crossfire attacks when defending the fortress. I'm sure the smoke was coming from around here, but nothing seems to have been on fire. Some people say that you were behind the smoke, your highness. Is it true? Wait, don't tell me. It makes a good mystery. Without the smoke, the fighting would have been much worse. Lots of people would have died. Yeah, we created the fire so that people would leave. People would escape. I wish the Godwins were still in town. If you had money, they'd cut you a sweet. Your Highness, oh, I was just bad-mouthing the Godwins. My favorite pastime, damn the Godwins. Cheers to anything and everything. Cheers to the prince's victory. Cheers to the princess. If Garwin tries to take the town back, there'll be another war. Maybe I should have... Maybe I should move somewhere else while I still can. Flame Beret Chain. Fire and Lightning Defense plus one. Get one for Bergen there, I guess. Um, yeah, give one to Lorelai too, sure. Pretty expensive, honestly. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff they had in Nerva Island. Of all the luck, just when I'd gotten a Monopoly going on armor, 
Huh? Oh, you, your highness. Didn't see you there. Thank you for liberating Dorat, Prince. We're so grateful you'll break up all the monopolies in this town, won't you? All this rebel army is such an unsophisticated lot. Such ruffians, not like Godwin, who oozes class. Some people are all quite relieved to have gotten off more easily than Lokar. Currently on patrol, your highness. Okay, you can buy eyeball rings here. Yep, yeah, you can still get the chest if you didn't get them when we came here before. There are still some Godwin supporters in this town, but they're not causing any trouble at the moment. Yeah, we just talked to a lady that was a God Godwin supporter. Her right there. Take her and toss her into a nearby lake. This was Godwin's second most important base. So we thought we might be in for some stiff comp op opposition. It was a lot easier than we could have um, possibly imagined. Oop. I heard Alinea use the Twilight Rune. What sacrilege against the Flanian royal family? Okay, same thing. Nothing unusual to report at the moment, your highness. Some of the people who escaped are scared to come back because of the smoke. Alright, let's head to the center part now. Your highness, congratulations on your incredible victory. We're all your willing servants now. We're going to support you from the bottom of our hearts. Awesome. Bend the knee to me as well. No, I'm kidding. Most of the soldiers in Miki's units surrendered without a fight. They're even saying it's a relief to surrender. Being forced to fight against your will would do that, I guess. The reason I'm speeding it up is because we already explored this area before. I'm just going back, talking to the NPCs and everything. Your Highness, it's a pleasure to see you. Hold on, let me go over here. We were afraid some of the enemy were hiding in the castle, but it's clean. We searched it from top to bottom. I think we got a majority of the chest here already. If heard you jousted with Miyakis, your highness. I wish I could have seen them in battle. I bet they are spectacular. Miyakis moves, I mean. Another weirdo again. But yeah, guys, what'd you... What'd y'all end up doing for Christmas and everything? I know it's a couple months late, but... Leave a comment if you want to. About that. Visit the family or whatever. Uh, I... The last couple years I haven't had went to the family dinners that we usually have. Well, last year is because I got up so late. I didn't get up until 5 p.m. And by then I didn't really feel like going. This year, obviously I got up late again. and So I won't be going again this, this year. If you want to get to the center of town, just go through the fortress gates and head left. But yeah, that's just how I am. I, my sleeping schedule gets all messed up. I have like... A condition that I it's it's a condition where um uh I go to bed two hours later each day 
So my sleeping schedule is constantly changing. So let's say I go to bed at 4 p.m. one day, right? The next day I'll go to bed at 6 p.m. And then 8 p.m. the next day. Then 10 p.m. the following day. And then 1 a uh, 12 a.m. You, you get the point. 2 a.m., 4, 4 a.m. You, you get the idea. Uh, it's probably a rare condition. I don't know. It's some delayed response or something like that. It has to do with like, uh, this is, this is the condition that I have. There's information you can see online. You can type in, why do I go to bed two hours later each day? And you'll find information about it. I didn't even know it was a condition for the longest time. I thought it was just how people were, you know, I thought everybody was like, like that, you know. But no, that's not that's not normal to go to bed two hours later each day. It's a condition. So I can't really do schedules very well because like if I try to schedule something, uh, my sleeping schedule will interfere with that, you know. If there's anything I could do for you, your highness, please don't hesitate to ask. There's no point in building a fortress this big and strong the people inside just open the gates do they still not realize that this is what happens when you don't have the trust of the people i rushed back here as soon as i heard the battle was over oh i'm so glad he's safe so sorry to be like this on duty it's just that my girlfriend was worried about me so her don't get the wrong idea, I'm not going soft or anything, I think. I don't want to be conscripted, so I went into hiding. But thanks to you, I can finally show my face and walk with my head held high. Thank you so much, your highness. My son and his wife ran off and left me here. When they heard that the war was coming in Durat. How could my own flesh and blood abandon me like that? That's life for you. What borrows always smelled of dirty money to me. So I decided to work in a Godwin town. But there's so much bribery and corruption here too. And there... Are there no honest politicians? <laughs> no? It's just like God wanted to manipulate your highness and the lovely Lady Miyakis into fighting each other. That's why I don't get involved in politics because it's all about... Uh, I don't... I, I think both sides are loony if you ask me, but... That's why I don't get involved in that. But I don't bring up politics at all, really. Because I don't get involved with that stuff. I don't even know what's going on political politically wise. And I don't really care. Lord De Beers of Lokar was here until just the other day. When he heard that your army was on its way, he left in a flash. He's probably going to Stormfist or Hirschville. There's the thing though. I don't really care what side you're on. It doesn't really matter to me. Like, uh, People can side with whatever side they want to side with. I just don't get involved with that at all. Like either side, you know. But um, people can have, feel however they want about it. If they want to pick a side, that's perfectly fine, you know. Your Highness, wouldn't it be prudent to throw the bureaucrats who are working with the Godwins in jail too? The fortress is absolutely enormous. It takes forever just to make one patrol around the place. Hmph. The rebel army's so sneaky clean. Sorry about that was my alarm, Squeaky Queen. How am I supposed to go about bribing my way? Uh, or Your Highness, how are you, sir? Yes, I was just thinking about how great it is that you'll fix all the corruption. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Hey, must be time for a shift change, right, Your Highness? All right. So that's all we could do there. That door at Fortress. 
I'm glad I sped all that up because that would have been one whole episode right there. If I would have left it at normal speed. Alright, so you can exit door at Fortress here. We can look around over here, see if... I hope we get a rare counter on the first try, wow. Alright, so the rare encounter outside Dorat is uh, Rock Golem. I'm not sure if this enemy is weak to magic or uh, physical attacks. Probably seems like it's weak to magic, right? Yeah, th magic's doing a lot to it. Yeah, it's resistant to physical attacks, but weak to magic. It doesn't do any AOE or anything. We got it. Never mind, I didn't even need to use Battlefield. For defeating it, you get a magical piece. Under prey statue and an earth ring. 74,000 poach and 90 party SP. Very nice. Alright, let's get to some counters around here. See if there's any new enemies besides that enemy. Nope, just the Doremi elves, huh? Bergen should level up a lot though. We need to level up Bergen some, so. I have Bergen around because he has um, Treasure Hunt as well. Got it up to an A. Basically, my whole party has treasure hunt just about. This is kind of crazy. Okay, you can fight Razorback as a regular enemy now. That's cool. Huh. She got stunned, which it doesn't matter. One damage. Is that all got? I think it's a lot of HP. I think it has more HP than the rare encounter version. Got it that time. Go 
Another power piece there. Those are always nice to have. Here's the car. And that just leads to a dead end that way. Ah, I found the other Do-Re-Mi Elf. Oh, we'll come back and get that one later. You need to have Cornelio, obviously, to get that one, so... We'll have to come back. That's where you get it at, though. So let's take a look at Bergen's stats now that he's leveled up a lot. Um, he's got 256 HP, which is pretty really good. Um, I need to load up his weapon some. He's, he fights with a shovel. He's good with the earth rune. He's got a decent amount of speed and his luck is insane. Holy crap. 118 luck. Wow. He'll crit quite a bit. But yeah, that's where you get the other next Dory Do Elf. I'll get that later. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Check the rumors. Shortage of fruit. I don't care about that. Let's upgrade Bergen's equipment, I guess. Um, spiked helm. Yeah, you can equip heavy armor, which is nice. Grave Gauntlets. Grave Boots. Give him a leather cape. We'll give him a... Not a gold emblem, but a... Fish badge. Give him a strength sash. And sure, an eyeball ring as well. There we go. And we'll go and upgrade his weapon here. Up to level 12. It's a shovel right now. Let's see what it changes into. It's a shovel called Shovel. It doesn't have a special name. Alright, let's see what it upgrades into. Super Shovel. There we go, perfect. I'll check his stats out now. 323 attack. I'll probably have more attack than Lorelei when he levels up. Well, probably maybe more than some of these other characters. Wow. Hey, he's got a good amount of attack power. Alright, anyway, we can start recruiting now. I'll at least get one character in this episode. We probably won't have time to get any more, but we're going to go to Sable first. We need to head to the talk. Well, I guess I want to go to the trading post first and the armor shop. No rare finds. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to the leader here. Solace. Oh, your highness, sorry about all the fuss around here. A thief appears to have broken in last night. As for what he took, though, well, that part's a bit odd. Are there any witnesses? These tumultuous times, we posted guards on watch at night, 
but they didn't see so much as a shadow. What was stolen? It was... It is very peculiar. Gold and other valuables are not kept in this building, you see. But for some reason, the thief made off of our family tree. Yet we've only belonged... Yet we've only belonged to the aristocracy since my grandfather's generation, so it was... So it has no value. And this appears to be the only home in town that was broken into. But we've got a figure... But we've got to figure out the identity of this crook. Who knows when or where he'll strike next. I must say, Your Highness, that it is a great relief to see the battle progressing so favorably. Alright, after talking to Solus, we need to go talk to a borough in the headquarters. So we'll head on over there. All right, let's head to, back to the base. I got John Cena's theme song stuck in my head. Obviously, I'm not gonna sing it during the video. <laughs> I don't have that stuck in my head, but like I can stop myself from singing it, but I'll hear myself like singing it out loud when I'm not recording. All right, so where is a burrow at again? Where's the big breasted uh, Kasara, Kasala, whatever, Kasara, whatever her name is. All right, a burrow detective agency. Talk to a burrow here. Hello, Prince. What seems to seems to be the matter. What's that? An unknown thief broke into Lord Robell's mansion? Well, that sounds like detective business. Why don't you tell me all about it? You gotta have all these characters recruited too, by the way. Ah, oh, yes. This has got to be the work of the infamous Crow. Crow is his nickname of a mysterious thief. Let's see. No witnesses. An aristocratic target. And nothing stolen except for a family tree. That's Crow's modus. Operandi. Operandi. Alright. Detective Abro has caught Crow before, quite recently in fact. Unfortunately, Crow escaped and he's been lying low ever since. Until now, that is. Prince, what do you want to do about it? Should we try to nab him again? Yes, let's catch him. Good. I've been itching to get another crack at Crow ever since he escaped. First we'll need some bait. Maybe somebody in the castle has a family tree. Shigur, go with the prince and search for some bait. What? Why me? Man, what a pain. Shigur, it's your job. Do your job. Okay, already. Damn. No need to get all testy on me, lady. Shigur gets really frustrated fast, doesn't he? Shigur! Sounds like he's always angry. I guess that's why his uh, name is Shigur. As in like, Gur. I'm always mad. Anyway, let's go back to... Um, we have to go talk to Egbert. I mean, it's kind of obvious that we have to go talk to Egbert because, like, he's always talking about his family, the Athabald family and all that. Like, he's the only character that talks about his family. The like, they're the... Like, they're a godly family or something. Like, he's obsessed with his family. Oh, he's not here. Um, gotta find where he's at. See if he's in one of these places. I 
Oh, he's in my party, duh. I gotta remove him from the party, that's why he's not showing up there. He's in Marina's Inn, but he's not there because he's in my party. Herp a derp. Herp a derp derp. Gotta go remove him from the party. Yes, that means you have to have Egbert recruited as well. If you don't recruit Egbert, you gotta go get him first. Which we got him way early on. What a family tree. Why, of course, of course. Fully 100 generations of Ethelbalds. Fully documented right here. Go ahead, take a, have a look. But, what do you need this for? To catch a thief of aristocratic histories? Of course, I insist. Family tree chart. Alright, now we need to go see a burrow again. So let's run on over there. Real quick. Sped up, obviously. Because you guys already know how to get there, so... All right. Talk to a burrow again. Oh, did you find a family tree? Ah, excellent. Well, isn't this interesting? The family tree goes back 100 generations. Even the queen's family tree only goes back 30. Fascinating. Might be just the bait we need to chip this crow's wings. Now we'll ask Taylor to spread the word about our bait. Then the trap will be set. All right, your highness, I cooked this up as fast as I could. Simple for one of my journalistic talents. Ethelbald family tree discovered. Prince Razor recently acquired a client of the Ethelbald family tree. Even though the Ethelbalds fell into ruin 100 years ago, they are still considered one of the most prestigious families in all Felena. As... One can trace their lineage to the country's founding. The family's brilliant history is gloriously inscripted in the client that His Highness obtained. The family tree is deemed priceless as both a museum piece and a historical artifact. However, a mysterious thief known as, known as Crow has been targeting the family trees of the aristocracy recently. So the prince was asked, or has asked the of a burrow to safeguard the precious Ethelbald chart. This crow is nothing more than a third-rate thief, a burrow said. His lips forming a confident smile. I've caught him in the act before and I'll do it again. Believe me. The prince has got nothing to worry about. With such an experienced detective on the case, it appears the prince can rest easy. I'll never understand that though, like... Why would you openly say that they're looking for him? I guess what I don't understand about like... Like the police will say they're looking for somebody or whatever. That just gives the criminal who sees that... Information knowing that people are looking for them, you know? Like... That should be left a secret, that way the, the person, the criminal doesn't know. Right? Like, try to do your investigation, like, privately, and then try to find... find the criminal that way, instead of, like, Oh, we're looking for this person. And now the criminal knows you're looking for him. Great. Now they're going to even more hiding than they were before. Good work. But I hate to use a star reporter like you for such a hack job. I don't need to worry. Not a, not a raise word in the article, and it was fun writing it up. Next, I just need to spread this around a few towns. When Crow sees this, he's sure to come after Egbert's family tree. All we have to do now is sit back, relax, and wait for him to show up on our doorstep.
All right, so at this point, we need to go to the warehouse. I believe. Alright, so supposedly he's in the top right corner. I don't know if we just keep re-entering or what. If you don't find him, um, apparently he just gets captured and you can go get him in the prison, but... I'm not really sure how to get him to show up. I'm gonna start selling my, um... Me so. Running out of storage space here, so. He's not here. Maybe if we try leaving the castle and then coming back, maybe. Maybe that'll trigger him. sure but if not I'll just get him in the prison it doesn't really matter Yeah, and you also need Taylor to recruit Raven as well. I should probably mention that. But I guess he's not showing up here, so he must be in the prison, maybe. Maybe he already got captured. I don't I don't know how that works. Exactly, but... We'll head on over to the prison, then. I guess... He might be there. I don't know. I guess we'll find out.
Was not the prison back there? I don't think he was there. Is there another prison or? I don't remember. I think this is the prison right here, right? Or am I wrong? Let's go this way. That just leads there. I think that one area was the prison, but I'm not sure. Maybe unlock the prison later. Maybe we don't have access to the prison right now. Maybe we need to upgrade the castle to do that. But he's definitely not here. Let's go talk to a burrow again. Take a while for this crow to roost. Sit back and relax. Good things come to those who wait. Okay. I guess we just have to wait a certain amount of time then. Maybe we need to talk to a burrow though to trigger it. So let's try it again now. Maybe we gotta sleep in the main cart. Uh. Let's go stay at the inn. Maybe that'll do it. We tried to leave the castle and come back. It didn't work. So let's try sleeping at the end please wake up oh here we go pardon the late hour looks like our bird has taken the bait he's trapped in the storage room let's go say hello okay so that's what we were supposed to do. All right. Do you hear that sound? He's in there for certain. He has the raven rune, by the way. With that rune, he's completely invisible in dim light. But I did forget to mention that. Must have slipped my mind. That's why we had him in this small storage room. Even though we can't see him, he should be. we should be able to find him if we grope around a bit. Let's go. Before this bird flies the coop. Hey. Well, what the hell do you think you're doing? Prince, you've called him. I impossible. I'm invisible. Invisibility isn't much help in such a small space. You fell right into our trap, Crow. Damn it, a burrow, not again. Give it up, Crow, you're caught. Stop calling me Crow, my name is Raven. Why would I be called Crow when I have the Raven rune, idiot? Whatever, a blackbird's a blackbird. Now come along quietly, Crow. You rotten little rat. The infamous raven 
is far too brilliant to be caught by an aristocrat's lackey. Wait, by my count, this is our this is already the second time you've been caught by this particular aristocrat's lackey. Why you shut up? Let me out of here. Let me out, or suffer my wrath. What do you think, Prince? Should we let him out? Only if he agrees to cooperate. What's this? You realize what I could do for you? Well, at least you recognize talent when you see it. You managed to capture me despite my invisibility, and that impresses me, so maybe. So, by one condition, a borrow. Bow your head and beg me, pretty please, then I'll consider your silly proposal. Well, don't be shy. <laughs> if that's really what, all you want, Crow, I mean. Oh, great raven, please lend us your uncanny stealth and unmatched wits. I humbly beg of you. What? How could you? Don't you have any shame? Shame? No, not really. Sounds like a waste of time to me. Ah. How can you be so smug even when you're begging me? What? Not enough? Should I get down on my hands and knees next, Raven? I'll forget it. What's the damn point? Well, I am a criminal of my word. I, Raven, the unmatched master thief, shall grant you my services. I assure you, you can't begin to imagine how privileged you are. Wa ha 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 ha. You have befriended Raven. Here we go. Your Highness, I heard something happened last night. Did you sleep alright? Well then, have another great day. Alright, so we'll check out Raven's stats before we end the episode. So I'll have to level him up some, obviously. Yeah, at level 15 already has a lot of evasion and speed. He's got an A in the dark rune. Oh, he's got Thief just like Roy does. So there you go, there's Raven. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. So it's with a ninja garb. Alright, I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.